Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three strings, cigar, box, guitar, fretless. We have a fretless guitar here. This is my Uncle Mark fretless. I do have fret markers. So, this is Motherless Children, and this is the uh, Blind Willie Johnson 1927 version. It is in the key of D. So, uh, let me play a little bit of this, and then we'll go over what I'm doing here. got going on G D G 42 34 24 same gauges same strings I always use and these are wound electric guitar strings I'm playing through a Roland mini cube and I'll show you those settings at the end of the video but uh, so let's see what we have on the fretboard here which is no fret no frets but we have a fretboard and we have some markers so G is open G sharp a B flat, B, C, C sharp, and D. D is the key to this song and where everything happens. D sharp, E, and F. F is important in this song. F sharp and G. G is important. G is the four chord in this song. So I'm going to be using this bottle neck that I uh, took off of a clear bottle so I can show and I can teach better. So you're up here on this D. And if you notice, there's a dot, there's a dot, and there's a dot just coming up from that. And I use that third dot, and then I'm just a touch above it right on that fret. So I... And you can see through the slide here. Okay? So that's how I know where my D is. I just look at these dots and go, eh, right there. And I also like sliding up. I know a lot of guys want to be right on it all the time, right? Just like so. But I like sliding up a little bit, and that gives me a little bit more getting to that exact note, you know, that I'm looking for. So uh, I'm going to move a little bit closer to the camera here. And so I'm also going to bend this over a little bit, you know, cant the guitar over a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. So I come up to this D. Then I go up to F. Well, how do I know where F is? See, I see that, that fourth dot, and I look for the space one above it. So I'm going from D to F. And that's how I see it. And you can see the, the fret right through the slide. F. So I go, So, and that's how I think of this song. So, the other thing that I do is I come down, okay? So, if you look at where I'm at, I like to map out where I'm going. On that D string, I come down A. G, B flat, D. So I go. So A to G. So that B flat to D. Thank you. 
low because you want to come back up to this. A lot of you guys out there are going to say, why don't you just tune to D, A, D? And then the whole thing is open. And it's a really good question. The only answer I have for you is the fact that I do not want to change tunings on any of my guitars. I don't do it. I don't like to do it. It, it uh, restricts me when I play live. So what happens is I end up having guitars in different tunes and I keep forgetting which tuning is in which guitar and that sort of thing. So I like to stick with a tuning period bar none. So I stick with G, D, G. That's it. Every guitar I have is G, D, G. So if I pick up a, my other cigar box guitar and sit here with it, I can play this song exactly the same way. That's me. Everyone is different. And if you want to play this in open D, that's fine. But this is the way I like to do it. And I keep it in open G. So there's no real right or wrong. I just do it my way as opposed to a different way. So that's the reasoning behind it. Uh, a lot of guys like open E tunings for blues. I'd rather stick with GDG. A lot of guys like the open D. I'd rather stick with GDG. That's just me, and everybody has correct answers. There's no incorrect or wrong way to do it. It's just that I like it this way. Um, I do not want to be tuning and retuning all the time. One, it ends up ruining your strings because you're always up or down, and you might have to use different gauges. So there you run into those problems. So I like to keep the gauges the same. That way I buy the packs the same. That way everything stays the same. Um, I'm one of these uh, people that like sames. Um, very conservative when it comes to that. Um, not conservative in other ways, but conservative in that way. So uh, this is a D, F, D. And then on the D string, and you can do that many ways. You can come up from the G to the A. You could do this song really slow and go. That's a G. So that's the part where it goes, they got no place to go wandering around from door to door. D, D, F, D, A, G, B flat, D. So. like motherless children. It's an old school way of playing it. I really, really like it. Um, I love the Eric Clapton version. I love all the versions. The Blind Willie McTell has a, he does a little, does a little thing like that that's really cool. He does a and he just goes C, C sharp, D. So there's many ways to play this, and they're all cool. I, you know, I just love digging through old blues albums and finding these wonderful versions of this. So look at that. This gives you an idea of how to navigate around this 
And seriously, it's you know, you could just sit on D and play this whole song and go. play that and it's totally cool and all you have to do is go to D to G. Yeah, get the light out of the way. Go from D to G. Or D open. Just sit here on D. Right? There's many ways to do it. Um, I suggest finding your own path. I just really dig this kind of time I get a chance to use that D string, utilize it, and, and have fun with it, that open D string is really, really nice to utilize. So uh, this is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you for everything you do for me. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you so much for everything. A buck a show is all we ask. And I did say that I'd show you my settings here. And these are my settings on the, on the mini cube. And if you can see that, I've got my gain at 12 o'clock. So uh, my tone is dimed, my gain is at 12 o'clock, and i got a little bit of reverb going on there. But no effects, and I'm on the Brit combo. So that's what I'm doing with my little cube. And uh, I also have my volume turned up all the way and my tone turned up all the way. And that gives me that sound, that... That, that gritty sound. Gives me that really gritty sound, so I really like that for this. But, um, you know, you can go with the totally acoustic way, and that is totally cool as well. So, see my companion video. Thank you so much for everything you do for me.